So I've seen people trying to insult us, calling us Ali about fanboys. I don't care. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wear that badge with honor. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I am Corbin, and this is Richard, also known as an Ali about fanboy. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy content. It's so juicy. <sighs> Today, we are reviewing Razi. Razi, Razi 1, Razi, Razi 2, Uganda, Uganda. Um, <laughs> a czar. It's hot in here, by the way. That's why I've been drinking a lot of water in these videos yes. as of late. This is our. It's uh, uh, hot. <laughs> this is our first experience with Alia as the lead. This, this is, is our um, second Alia film. We watched a lot of trailers. Is this really only our second Alia film? That's really strange. That's strange. Obviously, Gully Boy. Wow. Jeez. Anyways, uh, but if we were, were just fans old. before, we're forgetting everything. We're sure as hell fans now. That's what I'm talking <coughs> about. Um. Obviously, this is a spoiler review. Yeah. Go watch the movie if you haven't seen it already, you morons. Go. Huh? <clears throat> a Kashmiri woman agrees to marry a Pakistani army officer. In order to spy on Pakistan during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. Yes. I turned 109 <coughs> in 1971. I bet I'm not you doing the whole review this way. Um, but uh, obviously it stars Ali Abad. Fanboy. And Vicky Kershaw. Ker Kershaw? Kershaw. Vicky Yeah, I think it's Vicky Kershaw. Vicky Kershaw. Obviously Kershaw. we love him from uh, Uri. Uri. Oh. Um, Who he just, I heard, really got hurt. Oh, yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Speedy recovery to you. Vicky. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, he has uh, <coughs> stitches in his cheek. Excuse me. Uh, really hope he's but okay. But, yes, we've seen him in a lot of uh, trailers he's great. as well. He's great. Um, but the... Didn't we see him in a uh, trailer yes. with the uh, Nawaza? We did, and we talked about how thin he looked compared to... Because he does... Ramen 2.0. Yes, yes. yes. Job, Kurman! Ramen 2.0. Yeah. Um, but, yes, this film... Um, Ooh, true story. True story. Yep. We're not going to get into all the stuff that actually happened because whenever we do historical stuff, people will we always suck. like, propaganda, propaganda. Wait, we're judging this off of a film. The artistic merit. This is all we're doing here. So. And, and like Your most... personal views on the film aside, we're only judging this on a film. Right. Um, Whether it's a, 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 a true reenactment of the historical... This, we didn't even know this story existed yes. in history. So we have nothing to compare it to. So, yes. But just letting you know that off the top. Yeah. But, um, obviously, this, this film, um, <laughs> whew, intense. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it really let Alia shine. And, I mean, obviously, she shines all the time. She does. But it, it, it gave her a very different performance. Yeah. Uh, from what we, we saw. Yeah. And what you've seen as, I think, is more her natural, I think Gully Boy is more her natural. I agree. Um, person. The spunky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fierce. Yep. Uh, uh, Spunky, quirky, fierce. Yeah. Independent woman. Right. Um, but she, uh, this, it was almost, it was much, much smaller, especially in the beginning. Yeah. And I, I was like, oh, I don't even almost recognize yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, Alia, for, because she, it was a very small, obviously, very it started understated. off her, her father, obviously, had cancer. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, was a beautiful scene. Yeah. That whole first scene when she's finding out and the way the mom is responding and the dad is responding and, her, I believed every moment of that. I felt like I was sitting in the living room of that family. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, a, that was a heartbreaking scene. That was a sad scene. Yeah. Uh, was she was beautiful. In, beautiful work. Envision, like, what right. that would be like in real life. Or, right. Like, if we, like, I had to do that. And I was like, what? That's uh, a tough scene. What? And for the father, for the mother. For, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of them did. I mean, the mother in this was really, really, she was really small part of the film. Oh, yeah, she was beautiful. She was so good. Everybody in this. Oh, there's yeah. so many supporting people. Mm hmm in this from everybody living in the household in Pakistan mm -hmm. um, and the guy who's really skeptical of her right off the bat yeah he's really good really good yeah a lot of he had good screen presence too sure um, did but that, yeah. the whole family the dad when it got to the part where obviously they were in the the, the film because the training part was really cool um, but fun to watch her yeah, do that fun, fun to watch but I was like oh I guess it's gonna be a regular spy kind of right. thing but then it really picked up when she got to the house and your heart was almost racing the whole time anytime she had to do a little covert mission and, and she was gonna uh, get caught yeah um, and all that kind of stuff and then but <laughs> obviously when she got caught by the servant 
it really picked up. And I was like, well, but, wait, what's she going to do? Right. She's chasing him? Yeah, she's oh, chasing yeah. him. And then I was like, uh, you got to do something. Are you going to do roundhouse kick? Are you going to shoot do? him? What are you yeah. going to do? Um, and then she got in the counter. I was like, oh, she's going to run, run him, him over. over. <laughs> and then she hit him. And I was like, oh, but you got to finish him off. And, then and she, she did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And I loved her uh, moment. Yeah. When she got back and she got in the shower, I believed 100% there was this 21-year-old girl mm -hmm. Who just for the first time in her life murdered somebody that she knows it's didn't a hard do anything time when you murder somebody for the first time. That's true. Remember yeah. our first? Yeah, it was. It was that, that was really that rough. Was really tough. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> um, that that moment because uh, she, I love the destroying of the stereotypes in this. Mm -hmm. The first stereotype that's destroyed, and this really touched Alexis because she watched it with me, mm -hmm. was the first night she's there, and he sits down on the bed. And you realize, wow, this is a really good guy. Yeah, Vicky did amazing in this. Great job. And he was very understated. Very understated. He wasn't. Uh, he never performed. No. He didn't need to shine, and no. because of that, he did. Yes. And when he goes and the, he says, "It's going to take time. We need to learn to trust each other." It's like, oh, yeah. Alexis literally went, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> Which is one of the brilliant parts of this this film. Yes. Um, and obviously. Because this film was, it was obviously a dedication to all the people that have died that are never on never the talked about, Never nope. talked about. Um, yep. And that goes for any army, but this was obviously the, the Indian army. Right. Um, the people that go undercover, but then you never know their name. You know, um, speaking of that, you know, because there's the moment toward the end where the dad and the, the son, after she has revealed who she is and the son knows, which we could talk about that scene, we mm -hmm. should, where... The dad says to him, or, or he says to the dad, she was just doing what we would do. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty bold statement, and it may, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there may have been some Indians that were not happy with that presentation of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, th those are two Pakistani guys yep. saying, she's doing what we do. Yep. dying for our country and there was a that I thought that was a powerful moment yeah there's a bunch of, especially obviously at the end um, a bunch of powerful moments like that when um, they because it, it, it kind of it was basically any soldier of basically any country that is um, they, they kind of understand that fact it's just these are people that are mm -hmm. serving, unless they're obviously terrorists, right? And those are just complete uh, rights right. of human beings. Yeah, but any, any they're not even human beings. Any people that are in an army, um, regardless of how you stand on that person, or not it, it, they serve their country. Yes, and that's that's the thing that's most. It's, important. it's part of combat. It's the yes. level of I, I respect you. We we disagree, and I'll kill you. Mm -hmm. But I respect the fact that you're a warrior. Yeah, and we're fighting for similar kinds of causes. Yes, in terms of what we believe in. Yes. And I respect um, that. But yeah, that, so the, 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 I think a good film always does that. It makes you like, that's, that's true. Yeah. Even, even though you're, those people are the bad guys. Yeah, like Clint Eastwood's films. Did you see the two films Clint Eastwood did about World War II? Which ones? The Flags of Iwo Jima and Flags of Our Fathers. Flags of Our Fathers, I saw. Yeah, it's the same story. It's the same battle from World War II. Flags of Our Fathers is told from the American standpoint. And then Iwo Jima is told from the Japanese standpoint Ooh, of the exact same fight. That's brilliant. It is brilliant. And he did them one year after the other. That's brilliant. And I, I love that. Love that. And this did that in, in, in I thought, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, right from the get-go, giving you that sense of, wow, these, she's, I think she was shocked to find out. And I think that's what made the scene in the shower so powerful, is she killed a guy that really didn't do anything wrong. No. He just, he happened to find her spying on the family he loves. Yep. What, what would she have done? Yeah, she found out all these people were genuine, nice people, good people, right? Um, and which is a great thing to have in a film, too, because obviously humans are very complex. Yep. And um, Hamlet, baby. Uh, yes. Moral complexity is um, no but, easy answer. <clears throat> I thought Vicky and I thought everybody shined in this. Uh, everybody. The dad did. shined in it. Oh yeah. Like in the funeral scene. When he, he started to break down, and then he held him up. Yeah. Um, for the military. Funeral. Beautiful work. Um, but the the end of this film was just. <laughs> well, let's talk about two things. Let's talk about her moment. Let's talk about his realization, Vicky's realization. Oh yeah. That it was her, and he comes out of the bathroom, and she's standing there with the gun. Oh yeah. And he says to her, "Was any of it real?" Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
That is an incredible moment. Yeah, that was a great, <laughs> great, great scene. And I was wondering what they were going to do. And then they brought the kid in. Yeah. And they were both like... <laughs> uh, brilliant. Yeah, that, that scene was absolutely so brilliant. Um, because like, you don't know who to... Like... Yeah. Like... <laughs> If he kills her, you understand. If she kills him, you understand. Yeah. But I'm, you're, I'm rooting for her. Yeah. I am rooting for her, but I feel... And then, let's talk about the end. Yeah, the fact that, um, hey, obviously, we didn't know wasn't her. Uh, I thought she was yeah. gone. Yeah, so did I, and I loved it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. I was like, everybody should have died. I was like, what? <laughs> um, that, uh, but when Vicky came out, and they kind of got face-to-face, and then the guy... Who's been her mentor? He was like, oh, he Let's was like, plan B. Play plan B. And he, yeah. Oh, what's Plan B? Are they gonna save her? And then they just threw the name. Well, they, I think they tranked they her. They tranked her so she doesn't run away. And no, I think so she wouldn't feel it. Maybe that. I think that. I think it was like a kindness a trank. Kindness trank. Yeah. So like, I thought it was to make sure you don't run and you're gonna be sure you're gonna die. No, I, I think it was like a, um, this is a favor. Uh, knock you out. Got gotcha. so you. Don't. It was a Jon Snow moment you while you're being burned to death. Even though you wouldn't really feel... Nah. I mean, yeah. You kind of die almost. If it was strapped on you, you don't feel that. But oh, that was okay. a messy blow up right okay. there. But yeah, it just throws um, it in there and everybody's... I, I remember going, oh, dang. Yeah. Which is incredibly insane. Um, you know, obviously, so Vicky dies and you thought Alia dies. But then Until... when they, they go back and explain it. And I'm like, they haven't shown her face yet. Yeah. And so I was like... Mm. And then I was like, I hope this is not a cheesy kind of thing, but then uh, I'm guessing it actually happened because right. that's what they said. Right. Um, but the uh, you figure out what happened, and then you're almost heartbroken because the same way Ollie is at the which was a great performance. Great performance. She is a good crier. Yep. Like, and that's not Honest. an easy thing to do. No, and she had a lot of moments she had to break yeah. down in this, um, which is why she won. She won India's basically best actress for yeah. this role. Yeah, she did deservedly so. Incredibly brilliant. But that the whole scene with him uh, explaining it, she was like, um, "You gave the order to kill me." Right. <laughs> you you lit. You literally gave yeah, the order had, to kill me. She had the two things. Why did he have to die? Yeah. And you bastard. Yeah. You gave the order to kill me. And in the meantime, even though it wasn't me, you killed an innocent person right. who was helping me. Right. <laughs> now, did you see the very end thing? I didn't see that coming because I tend to be stupid and ignorant. Did you see her being pregnant? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, good. Yeah, I didn't either. No. I thought that was an incredible... I hope that's part of the story. I hope that's true. Yeah. Because I thought that was extraordinary. Yeah, that was... Yeah. That Another was... moral conundrum of... Yeah. Uh, just, just was great. Yeah, the... Uh, I, I love films that do that to where you don't exactly I mean know what to think yeah and this was looking at the director who we haven't talked about just yet first of all uh, anytime we can celebrate a woman director that makes us happy because there aren't enough women directors in the world especially here in the United States mm -hmm. and this was one of those films where the director didn't get in the way or didn't do anything but tell the story and compliment the story mm -hmm. um, it, I just felt like everything was believable the the, the the pace of the film, the runtime is 138. It felt like it was 90 minutes. Yeah, it, it went by real fast. Real fast. Real fast. Um, but yeah, Alia, obviously she was always way up there for us, but she... Right, just... I mean, I can, I can watch her just sit and drink a cup of tea. Yeah. So Seriously. Freaking brilliant. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd give it four and a half stars. Yeah. I, I love this film. Love I this film. It was this is so good. This is up there for me. I think a lot of the friends that I have here... There's certain films that they I wouldn't want them to see first. Like, I wouldn't want them to see Bahubali first. They wouldn't get it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want them to see KFG. They wouldn't get that. Even, even Padmavat, as good as that is, and, and Bajaramastani, or Pastrami, as we call it, mm -hmm. um, the ones I think they'll resonate with are, are the ones that are like, like Gully Boy, mm -hmm. Pink, Badla, and this one. They, it really feels so much like what they're accustomed to that I think would be a big shock to the system for them to go, wow, India makes films like this? Yeah. Uh, uh, comparable to those, like what we see here with political espionage and crime dramas. And this yeah. is a gr great film. Absolutely brilliant. Great Please film. Let us know what uh, we should watch next and review. Uh, if it's an Alia film, great. We're going to watch it. <laughs>